Okay, so we're doing another full wrap water slide cup again. We are going to use the uh, gold metallic sheen koala water slide paper again. This one. I will have the link down in the description below. Um, I really loved it the first time I used it and had that little tear, so I'd like to attempt to redeem myself. So I'm going to give it a good soak and get my cup wet, and then I'll be ready to go. Uh, when I spray painted the cup for this one, I knew I wanted the bottom black and maybe the top edge because this image from Creative Fabrica wasn't quite the right size. So my outer dimension should be good. My top dimension, bottom dimension, I think is going to be a little bit short, I believe. I could be wrong, but I didn't even test fit this one. So that's why I wanted to leave a little black at the top and the bottom. This is like clear, but it's golder on the back side. <clears throat> so it's not like super clear, but it is clear. So um, I may also add a little gold or silver chunky mix to look like this. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to see how it goes on and how it lines up. Like I said, I didn't even dry fit this one. And I'm going to let this soak a little bit longer than the last one. So hopefully it'll release a little bit easier. So that is where I'm at. I absolutely love this image. I have set similar to this you've seen me use last fall, I believe. Um, this may be a digital curio image to begin with, image set to begin with that somebody else took and turned into a full wrap. So, instead of cutting the individual pieces and doing it myself, I just grabbed that. But I will link to this image. Let's see, it's a little short. I will link to the image down below, certainly. And if I can find the image set I think it came from, I will also link that. I'm not quite where I want to be to release this. I do find this gold one releases a little bit more difficult than the glitter one that I'm also testing. Um, it doesn't want to slide as easily from the backer. So I'm going to end up in the same boat as last time. Or I'm actually going to lift it and fold the backer off. So, oh, this would be a good time to show you the back, what I mean by it's golder. It's clear, but it has a lot of gold sheen on the back side. I don't know how they do this, but it's a pretty cool. I don't know the science behind this product. I'm actually going to cut a piece of the backer right off. I think that'll be easier for me. I'm not sure I'm going to redeem myself though, to be honest. I'm going to try and line it up more towards the top because if I do glitter, I'm not going to glitter at the top. I'm only going to do it at the bottom. Because that's the only place on this one that digital glitter is. 
I guess that's what you'd call that, digital glitter. Okay. I am trying to see if I can get it to start sliding, but... doesn't really want to slide. Oh, there it goes. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm already getting too dry. So, now I should be able to actually slide it. But I'm gonna work this one with my little squeegee brush, squeegee tool, as I go, I think. Okay, so I didn't rip it yet, so hooray. I do have a couple of creases that I'm going to try and work out somewhat, but I don't want to overwork it because I don't want to shred the whole thing. This is definitely not, for a full wrap, a beginner level water slide. Um, smaller pieces you'd probably do okay with, but if you're not used to working with a water slide to begin with you may struggle with this one because I'm struggling with this one and you know I'm used to working with water slide so um, but it is a stunning product I mean look at that look at the way this gold shines so I'm gonna squeegee this out a little bit smoother One way than the other way. Luckily this um, image kind of lends itself to um, <laughs> the creases blending into the design. I'm gonna let this dry. We're gonna come back and decide if we're gonna sprinkle a little glitter on it or not. And look, I went over that crease too hard so now I have a white spot. Just like the last one. So, um, yeah, it is what it is, right? Gorgeous product, a little more difficult to work with, definitely. So, uh, I'm going to let it dry and I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to get the epoxy on this, a clear coat, and then we're going to 
sprinkle just a little bit of glitter at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and use this um, three queen, number three queen glitter from the LMNOP Design Boutique box I had gotten. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in one hand. This is a really pretty mix. I'm just going to give it a light sprinkling right over that faux glitter. I'm not usually a fan of wraps that have a fake glitter. Look at that. You can see that little line through there. I got one little piece of glitter on top of his skull that I don't particularly want there. So I'm just going to grab one of these sticks and scooch it out of there. I don't mind where it is on the hand so much, but just relocate it. I think that was the perfect glitter for this. Let's see if I can get this tilted up enough to see the bottom. So that is it for this one. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.